What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I've got another really important AMC update to bring all of you this weekend. So what we're going to be covering in this video is one, naked shorting seems to have been confirmed by a major news source. This is a major step in the right direction for us because we have seen a lot of FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt coming from all of these different news sources in all of the, the different creators in the community over the past week have been working extremely hard to try to dispel any fear, uncertainty, and doubt that we have been receiving from these different news sources. And the fact that they have basically slipped up and confirmed that naked shorting is not only happening with AMC, but in the entire broad market, this is unbelievable news for us as a whole. We're also going to be going over a key indicator that I want all of you guys to be aware of that that is going to tell us exactly when we are one in the squeeze and two when we are actually getting towards the top so before we get into all of that information if you guys enjoyed the information and analysis that i provide for you in this video make sure you go down and hit that like button and if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time i post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options i am trading and which strategies i am using to trade them. And speaking of options, let's take a look at what we have for next week. If you guys uh, have been watching any of my content, you know that options are incredibly important to the short and gamma squeeze situation that we have going on for AMC at the current time. So right now, nothing too crazy jumps out at me um, at this option chain going into next week. But that is something that we see typically on the weekends before going into the next week. So typically what I like to look for on the weekends before a very important week ahead are these volume numbers uh, that happened on the previous Friday. So right here for this $50 strike, we have a 42,163 volume, which is the amount of contracts that were traded on Friday. And it's going to be very interesting to see how many of these 42,000 contracts are going to be added into this open interest on this $50 strike over here going into the next week. Now, the open interest tells us the amount of contracts that are being held in people's brokerage accounts at the current time. So it's a very important indicator to see where the important levels are for a potential gamma squeeze. We also see an 18,000 open interest on these 55s. Uh, oh, sorry, the, the 18,000 volume on, on these uh, 55s and only a 5,905 open interest. So these could also get a little bit of a bump. We see the 60s have a pretty high open interest and a high volume, but I'm expecting to see these numbers jump up over the next week because AMC has been one of the top top stocks in terms of volume on their options chain over the past week. Now let's get into Ortex. So First off, I want to say that I believe that Ortex does an unbelievable job and provides an extremely valuable resource uh, to all of us apes when we're trying to figure out exactly what is going on with the actual short squeeze situation that we have on hand. If you guys watched my previous video, we went over how the short hedge funds are able to actually manipulate the Ortex data with some very intricate option strategies. And I've been calling for this over the last week, and we are finally starting starting to see signs of this actually happening. Now, the main gist of this in the very simple explanation that I can give you guys is that there's a very big discrepancy between the percentage of the free flow on loan and the estimated short interest uh, as a percentage of the free flow, meaning that there's a lot of shares out there that have been loaned out that have not actually been shorted. So it's possible that, that these funds are actually just returning shares that have not actually been shorted. And in addition to this, the option strategy that they use is they essentially sell a deep in the money call and buy a synthetic long from the market maker because the market makers have uh, basically a legal right to do a version of naked shorting in, in, in terms of their hedging process, which makes it look like they've covered their positions even though they have not. So the key indicator that I am now going to be looking for, I'm going to move away from, from really basing a lot of my analysis from Ortex. And the thing that I'm going to be looking for is one, bankruptcies and hedge fund collapses and overall market sell-offs. When you think about this situation as a whole, if all of these funds are going to have to liquidate their other positions to cover their shorts, and they might even not be able to cover their shorts, we're going to see a lot of these hedge funds start to collapse 
and an overall market sell-off. So let's get into this naked shorting situation. So what is naked shorting? For a lot of you guys that are new, you don't really understand. You may not understand what is actually going on with the, the actual AMC stock. So naked shorting is the illegal practice of short selling shares that have not been affirmatively determined to exist. They are essentially uh, printing free money. Ordinarily, traders must borrow a stock to determine uh, or determine that it can be borrowed before they sell it short. So naked shorting refers to short pressure on a stock that may be larger than the tradable shares on the market. Despite being made illegal after the 2008-2009 financial crisis, naked shorting continues to happen because of loopholes in rules and discrepancies between paper and electronic trading systems. This is kind of what I referred to earlier um, as, as part of the market maker's legal right to do a version of naked shorting as part of their hedging process. Now, when we come over here, there's this clip from CNBC. Now, I don't have uh, the, the actual ability to play this clip for you guys um, on this channel. I know a lot of you guys have seen this, um, but make sure you guys go take a look at this if you have not seen it already. The gist of this is that the individual, let's see if I can scroll back, right here um, is talking about AMC and GameStop and how um, what's going on, he basically explains naked shorting. And in the background, you see, you hear this individual, Melissa Lee, and you can see the expression on her face right here. She essentially says, naked shorting, yep. It is a big sign, especially coming from CNBC, the news outlet that has just basically come out and tried to, to make Trey's trades seem illegitimate, which is the last thing that they want to do. We all know that Trey does an amazing job um, as, a, as a leader of this community. And they have essentially just confirmed that naked shorting has been happening. But at the same time, this has something that we have known for an extended period of time. What is going to be very interesting to see over the next couple of weeks is this right here. So Charles Payne, he was the individual that interviewed Matt Kors and Trey's Trades last week. So he seems to provide a very neutral opinion about AMC in the short squeeze situation. He doesn't really try to dis discredit Trey um, or Matt when they came onto his show. So it, th these interviews were actually very good. So he's discussed before, but we'll definitely talk about it in the future, including solutions. Now, this is referring to naked shorting. So here is the gist of what naked shorting does. So Imagine you are a hedge fund and you are going to engage in a naked short selling process. So what you do is you sell shares that do not exist on the open market. But you have to think about this. When you sell something, you need to meet a buyer. And typically, that is going to be us retail investors. So we do own these quote unquote synthetic shares. Now, when it comes time uh, for these different hedge funds, the short hedge funds to actually cover their positions in AMC. Now, we do not know when this is exactly going to be, but I do believe that it is coming in the near future. But again, I am holding this stock for the long haul. They have to buy back all of these synthetic or naked shares that they have sold short, meaning that we most likely own more shares than are actually supposed to exist. So the MOAS, the mother of all short squeezes, is still on and we are in the driver's seat. We have the winning hand right now and this is our battle to lose. So I just wanted to get this out there and spread awareness to, to this news being spread around the different news media outlets. In my opinion, this is very good news for us going forward. I actually have a lot more information that I want to talk about as well, but I didn't want to make this video super long. So make sure you stay tuned for another extremely important video coming out tonight that has to do with more institutions turning off short selling for head uh, for for different funds other institutions and retail investors and here is the big kicker Robinhood has just received a cease and uh, cease and desist order from the SEC having to do with their payment for order flow uh, process so we are going to cover that in a later video most likely coming out tonight so if you enjoyed the information and analysis that I provided for you in this video make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps me out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people as possible. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones, and see exactly which options I'm trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next video.